Welcome to this video. It uh, occurred to me that we do not have a video of how to install Arch Linux in just one big video. So I've um, cut everything up in phase five here. We have Archway and uh, with the BIOS installation, the UFI installation, but it's actually a bunch of um, articles in there and they're all cut into pieces. So I'm going to make a tutorial, video tutorial, this time based on the Archway BIOS. So not UEFI, that's here. I'm going basically to follow the guide here and so that you have a video that completes, that sets it, sets it all up, phase one, phase two, phase three, till phase four. All right, <coughs> that's set. Everything is here uh, ready. We have Arch Linux ready. It's empty. There is no drive in there. So I'm going to put my Arch Linux 2018 April 1st in there. I changed my settings so that my processor is four cores, so I have eight, so four for this guy and half of the video memory. That's it, and let's boot and let's do this thing. We better press Ctrl F so we have a full screen and then click here. Maybe as well Ctrl F back again, uh, maybe also scale factor 150 I think was best Ctrl F so you really see what's happening so like I said um, not much uh, explanation here that's in all the other tutorials this is just going uh, to show you what I do to install and I'm gonna start with my keys as I need a safety and you'll see me make typos but that's okay so then we scroll over so I have this a website on the other screen I'm just scrolling over and skipping the things that I do not need that I already know that it's okay so I have internet and I'm going to do some uh, DHCTL sets NTP true some of the things you know already by heart but we don't want to make mistakes so we follow the guide save disk so GPT DOS this is about bias so DOS we can, let's make a new one let's um let me think 30 gigabytes the first thing we made was 20 gigabytes for a primary and then the rest was space so swap i mean so let's type swap and that's it and no that's not it we have to make the root bootable and that's it let's write it now right yes um, do we have to type right with a yes like so probably and then quit just quick check give me the block and yes my hard disk is sliced into two pieces so that's good this is a bias setup otherwise you'll have three pieces if you have UFI now as we scroll all the way down we need to format these these things so make me uh, file system, oops, uh, x4 device sda sda1 done that. Then we have to activate now first make the swap and then activate it device sda2 done swap on device sda2. There we go. Scrolling down. We have to mount things, yes. So mount device into, sorry, device SDA1 into our slash mount, done. Scrolling the mirrors, that's the next thing. Nano, etc, Pacman D, mirror list. Then we move down, Brazil is no good for me. And Italy is no good for me, but I found out that Luxembourg is not that far away and it's a good uh, way for me because I live in Belgium and Luxembourg is about 100 kilometers away, so that's fine. Then we're going to see what the speed is when we do the backstrap mount and we ask the base and the base development packages to be installed in MNT. So the hard disk we just mounted and we just formatted as XDF so the download is okay as you can see 24 megabytes is it per second so that's, uh, that's okay that's super couldn't be any happier that's what I'm paying for so 
well, let's get ready and scroll down already next up if fs step bias and there's a script we need to run and it's called generate file system table genfs step almost there nope post transaction hooks almost there already oops other screen so generate me a file system table and put it in I'll check first MNT and then you can put it in etc fs tab oops that's not normal is it let's check this is quite important if this this is wrong then everything is wrong like I told you this is not good so what did I do wrong generate file system as slash amount oh yeah I forgot append it to this file and now we can check it again all right so we have a root and we have none that's fine super x or, or yeah super x control x sorry when you do this it's control x yes control so the nano is done shroot we need to shroot in our new system arch root into mount done this is our future system we're looking at then i want to tell us the time zone that's a link but it's already there so we need to force it and the user share the zone info europe brussels and put it inside local time that's the link that local time or etc local time is the link to that file hardware clock we need to set the clock to the system clock to the hardware clock system to hardware clock like so <coughs> okay then the business with the locales the locales we need to um, nano etc locale what do we have locale gin like so one two three four five and we have this one exit yes done then we need to write no, generate first locale and then we have an application with a dash that's generated and then we can tell the system hey my language is en underscore us dot utf slash eight and you know what put that inside etc locale dot locale dot conf <coughs> sorry that's it that looks good right echo key map i have another key map that i will need to set i need to be in azerti so latin one and put that inside etc v console.conf no typos allowed check all right scrolling down a host name the host name could be something like arch linux put it inside etc host name nano etc hosts like so one two seven zero zero row one zero point one is gonna be local host local host local host is going to be arch linux always the same name no typos local domain and arch linux control x yes saved next up network configuration pacman minus s network manager yes 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 install everything and most importantly don't forget to enable it so system ctl enable 
and then type it correctly. Capital, capital, only like this. And then you have three lines. When you see the three lines, you typed correctly. Initramfs is not longer necessary, so scrolling. Password, it's in there for root. And then the bootloader. We need to have the package minus s grub. That's all we need if we are on BIOS. And we need to grub install, oops, with a dash into device uh, SDA. That's all we need as well. We used to have a longer way to install it on Linux, on Arch Linux, but they've changed the wiki and it seems it's okay. And then boot grub grub.config. All right, almost at the bottom of this page. We need to reboot. So exit, that's one thing. Unmount everything that we have mounted, that's another thing. And then it says reboot. Actually, we should better say shutdown because we are now, of course, on, um, on VirtualBox. So, whoops, shutdown. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because I need to get rid of this one. This does not need to be there anymore, any longer. Otherwise, when you reboot, you get again the normal the, the, the USB um, or the AI. So that's going to boot. We need to boot from Grub. And that's just happening. And I need to move to next step. So page uh, phase two or number six. So I'm root and I'm back at phase two. Phase two, scrolling, scrolling, yahoot, at yahoot. So nano etc pacman.conf all the way down. Maybe we can include the other one as well, which is coming later. So multilib, that's done already. And now we have to type Arch Linux for France. Hmm? Sig level. Capitals are important, spaces are important. I typed once, never like that. Does not work. Well, capital N. All right. And then server. HTTP. Go get everything that's on that repo. Arch Linux inside dash arch, which is going to be, I think, x86 underscore 64, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a variable and it's replaced. Oh no, no pseudo necessary yet. I'm root. That's enough. And you see Arch Linux fr there. And then I'm going to install Yahoo. All right, it has three packages. Remember the, the package query that's necessary for Yahoo. So if you're going to make an ISO, you need package query as well. Um, getting rid again of uh, the last line, but since we've done so much work typing, let's just put a hashtag in front of it, and that's gone as well. And when we do a pacman minus sy, that's it. No Arch Linux fra anymore. Now it is installed. Scrolling more. Multilib has been done already, and the bash completion. Okay. Pacman minus s bash bash completion installed. So next time when I press tab, you'll know to, to 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 automatically fill it in. Let's make myself. I'm gonna make Eric a user account. Mg <coughs> users minus a group. Which groups should Eric B added to audio, video, network, wheel, storage, and minus S, give him the shell bin bash. I could give myself ZSH, but I'm going to give myself bin bash. Password for Eric is going to be 
the password. Then I need to be on top of things. I need to be able to do a pseudo action. At this point in time, I cannot. So I'm gonna say this one, uncomment that one. And now I can execute any command. Great. Then the phase two is done. Scrolling down, next step. Phase three started, let's get graphical. But first, let's be Eric. So is everything working? And it should, I have to type, um, yeah, why not? I have to type now sudo because I am now a member, just as just an account, not root anymore. Scrolling down to get some xorg action. sudo pipeline minus us, xorg server, the x Org apps the x org x in it and a terminal because sometimes we really need it when we install a bare vanilla arch installation we need definitely a terminal because sometimes it's not installed when you install a desktop then at least you have one okay graphics driver we're in VirtualBox, so no graphics drivers are necessary. So we're moving on to the light DM. Sudo Pacman minus S. Light DM and light DM again. Press tab. Tab completion is working. Greeter, okay, again, light DM. GTK again, and that's it. That's all we need. Three times um, light DM, all that we have about what's available on LightDM is installed. What I tend to forget uh, is activated. If you don't say, hey guys, next time you boot up, activate LightDM, then there will be no light for you. No graphical. That's what we need to see. Created symlink, because sometimes you get errors or something like that. This should be deadline, nothing else. Then we need to uh, make a um, installation. We need to choose a desktop. Um, what I was thinking, I've already installed Deeping XFCE, OpenBox, i3, awesome. Let me show you. Oops, where is my Firefox? Or is it Vivaldi? So we can use Deeping XFCE, OpenBox, i3, awesome. Um, we could use also Cinnamon. So now it's up to you, just Arch. Uh, wiki C -n -n -n. Right. Then you start reading and say, okay, how do we install it? The package cinnamon. That's it. That's it. That's as simple as that. That's arch for you, baby. So pseudo pacman minus s cinnamon 500 megabytes. That's what it will cost us. And we'll have another desktop so it's, it's just phase four is just choose whatever you want whatever desktop that's out there there are phew, at least over 20 known in the sense of uh, well-known desktops but there are more desktops that people never heard about that will work on arch as well so we're going to explore them all and put them on arch linux d so reboot let's see if it works if we have a arch Linux Cinnamon, and that will conclude actually our video. Do we have the time? In 18 minutes, we have installed Arch Linux. That's how long it takes. Well, of course, I know it's a little bit longer if you want to tweak it and team it and icons and Firefox and Grow, etc. etc. But hey, we have a system and it's working. All right, enjoy.